My name is Jane, and um, I'm an American citizen by birth. My sister and I were brought back to Nigeria by our mother. Um, my story is not that so interesting based on its difference, but it is unique in its own way. Don't this to you when you are much younger. Stop it. Mom, what am I doing? What am I doing? Mom! 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 Just do me. Do me. Mom, do me. Oh my god. What am I doing? Mom! What? Mom! 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 The blade that tore my skin. It brought so much pain that words cannot begin to express right now. And I actually thought I was dead when everything went blank. I thought I had. I thought I was gone. I'm on
have absented yourselves from my class physically, others mentally. Can we share your thoughts, Jane? Jane, welcome back. Is there any problem I should know about? Yes, ma'am. You are sure? Yes, ma'am. Like I was saying, a lot of you have been awoke this past few days, especially the girls. At the close of school today, I want all the girls to stay back and see me while all the boys go home. No noise. I, I don't want to hear it. All the girls stay behind, and that's fine now. So, can anyone tell me why some of you were absent from my class some days back? Some didn't return until today. Well, because our mother took us to school. My dear, your mother took you to where? Nowhere. Hey, excuse me. I was not talking to you, I was talking to her. Continue. We went to Our mother took us to a shrine and cut our flesh. What? And we bled. Where are you going to? What are you doing? I didn't, I didn't ask you to leave. Come back here. Where are you going to? J Jane. Jane. Jane, hold on. Sit down. Sit. Sit down. Jane, talk to me. I won't let anyone know about this. It's not much of a secret, Ma. What isn't the secret? They forced us into an old woman's place. What old woman? And they used sharp objects and cut our private parts. It made us bleed very well. Oh my god. They called my you, sister. Your private thoughts? They called my sister. Oh. It's okay, dear. It's, okay. it's not okay. They killed her. My mother. Oh, shh. It's okay. It's okay. Come here. Don't worry. Everything will be fine, okay? We must not keep short about this, but speak out. How do we do that? They know whatever and listen. Oh, but they will listen. It might take a while and some effort, but they will listen. When voices come together, it becomes too loud to be ignored for long. I know you girls are still very young, but I am here for you. You all must learn to be there for one another. This ridiculous act must cease. Okay? I, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not done yet, right? I'm fine, man. I overheard your conversation earlier with the girls. I understand you've been holding a series of meetings with them. Yes, ma. Oh, I appreciate your gesture. And I know you mean well for this girl. Yes, ma. However, I want you to stop holding any form of meetings with these girls henceforth. What? I don't get you, ma. What don't you get? I said stop feeding these girls with all sorts of crazy ideas coming from your head. Rubbish ideas. I, I, I don't understand. Rubbish? Yes. I must say, I, I am confused at this point. And I must say, I'm, I'm surprised that a teacher like you lacks comprehension of simple instructions. Well, let me break it down for you. Teacher Lisa, stop feeding these girls with your crazy ideas by criticizing our customs and beliefs. By culture and beliefs, I take it you're referring to circumcising them? Yes, circumcising them. A custom that transcends, transcends your very existence. And with all due respect, Ma, that does not make it right. And who made you a judge of what is right and what is wrong? These actions are, are, are therefore to, for the future of these girls and not to destroy them. 
I stand to defame her. By mutilating these girls, you have deliberately altered their bright future. You are destroying the very thing you set out to build. I beg your pardon. Yes. The harm of mutilating these girls far outweighs the so-called beliefs. I, I, I believe enough. Enough, Miss Lisa. I did not call you to for you to give me lectures on what you believe or what you don't believe. Now listen. I want you to stop feeding them with your crazy ideas. Stop it. Crazy ideas? Wow. Okay. So what do I owe this visit? Uh, yes, actually, uh, you're supposed to come to my office for okay. a meeting, I know. Uh, but it's a weekend, so I decided to come with my... I hope there's no problem. Sit down. Jane, talk to me. I wouldn't let anyone know about this. It's not much of a secret, Ma. What isn't the secret? They forced us into an old woman's place. What old woman? And they used sharp objects and cut our private parts. It made us bleed very well. Wow. They killed my sister. Your, your private parts? They killed my sister. Oh. Sweet. So it's okay. not okay. They killed her. My mother. Oh, shh. It's okay. It's okay. Come here. Don't worry. Everything will be fine, okay? Jane! Jane! Yes? What's it now? What happened in school today? I really don't want to talk about that. Friend, how dare you try to walk out on me when I'm talking? And how dare you tell them what is going on at home? Home? You call this a home? Oh, that's, that's what you call it? This isn't a home, this isn't a family, and you're definitely not a mother. Hey, shut up! How dare you speak to me in that tone? Home? You mean the truth? That I've been keeping it for so long? Just because I kept it doesn't mean I won't gain voice and speak out. Are you out of your mind? Come back here, I'll deal with you. Or what? You'll kill me? Like you killed my sister? What? Are you insane? So, Jane, how are you doing? I'm all right. Um, the others wanted to come, but I insisted I go alone. I see. You're leaving, aren't you? Oh, no, no. I'm just packing my things. See, before I leave, I will make the necessary arrangements, okay? Take this. What is this? The folded paper contains the name and address of the postman here in this community. You will find him at the right time. He alone will help you reach my contact, to whom you must give that envelope. But Father Nelson is a renowned priest, a devout friend and Christian who believes and supports our cause. He will help you at the right time because I have discussed with him about you all. And remember, always use your heart and not your head, okay? Oh, well, it's getting late, I have to go. Okay, take care of yourself, okay? All right, bye. Bye. Please help me shut the door.
engulfed in euphoria, I basked in my memory of pending freedom. I will be rid of the pain of past and wallow wildly in a new world of womanhood. My untamed thoughts tempted me to trade my sleep for brief moments of mentally designed dreams. What are you doing? What are you? What? Yeah, good morning too. I'm going to be your new teacher. And I am going to be addressed as Mr. Mark Maso. Well, 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 uh, Mrs. Lisa, she's not going to be continuing with us due to some challenges. Now, straight to the business of today, we'll be going with the subject English language. And I'm going to be teaching you on the subject and the topic, figure of speech. Who among you can tell me what's the definition of figure of speech? Oh, Jen. <laughs> Come on in, come on in. How are you? Where have you been? These gentlemen have been waiting for you for a very long time. <laughs> Me? Yes, you. <laughs> oh, yes. You, you my dear. <laughs> uh, really ice cream. Ice cream, really. <laughs> so, this is a beautiful flower. <laughs> in the garden, you want to walk up. <laughs> oh, my dear, please come in. Sit down. Uh, actually, I have to go to my room. I'll be right out, okay? One could tell that my mother was searching, trying really hard to tell what I was thinking, but in vain. In those few seconds, a decision had to be made. Uh, yes. Um, and then it was made. I've seen that. A decision that changed my course. A decision that changed the course of my life forever. <laughs> um, we will come and see. No problem in due time. No problem. Thank you once again. You are most welcome. Thank you so much. description that this is his abode yeah? yeah 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 he's inside yes he's inside um i came to be delivered pardon i mean i came to deliver letters uh, um um i'm on my way home okay we'll see our school okay oh. hello beautiful uh good afternoon my, my, my. Anything for me? Uh, sir, I was told by my teacher, Miss Alicia, that you could help me find this person with this name and this address. Uh, Miss Alicia, huh? <laughs> Father Nelson Odis, St. Austin Cathedral. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, what's the need for me? Um, I don't understand. I mean, what's the need for me? You know, when you render such services. Um, I'm sorry. Uh, I don't have any money, but 
Miss Leisha told me that... Ah, oh, cut that crap. Miss Leisha, Miss Leisha, I don't give a damn about what Miss Leisha told you. All right? She's not here now, is she? Oh. So, what's the need for me? I'm sorry, I, I don't have... See, any... every girl who comes here requiring the same service, they're not this naive. Come on. <laughs> understand. I, I don't understand. See, my point is that you're here now. You want me to help you. And, and then... Okay, see. If I must help you, there must be something for me, you know? Let's go inside so you can show show Papa some. Give me some shit. Like, show me some. What? 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 Why do you scream now? You're a fool. Ah. You, you be fool. In a grace. Hey, see Anna. Boy, it's over a ride, eh? Yeah. And he's post to my job, eh? I go post to that day. Be a father. Don't worry, I go see you. It was a very bad experience. So, but um, after I studied mass communication in the university, my communication and public relations skills had improved drastically. So I became an activist in my own little way, but just within the confines of my environment. But I wasn't going to let it stay limited. So I, you know, expanded back to the place where I was from. My pain knew no bounds, but no pain compared to that of my past. I knew the only way to find myself completely was to lose myself completely. I was turned between the devil and the blue red sea. And of course I chose both. Dine with the devil, swim with the blue sea. My friend, get out of here! Get out of here! Ah. You should have told me you never done this before! You should have told me! What's that? <laughs> Do you know the pain? You made me go to you trying to to, to, to go go to the, the, the process. What's that? Huh? Please take, 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 take. This is the address to the priest's house. What, what rubbish? <laughs> My friend, take. Get out of here! Get out of here! Ah. Are you are busy crying and shouting in Oklahoma, Oklahoma, Texas. What's that? I couldn't help but cry uh, or balandi and uh, I just couldn't. Think what that word comes to. For you both people, Oklahoma, Texas. Balandi. Ah, most of my. Um, good afternoon, Father. My name is Jane Orodo, and I was sent by my teacher, Miss Leisha, Miss Leisha, to find you and give you this. the girl from America. Yes, Father. Oh, you're welcome, my daughter. Thank you. So, where is Miss Leisha? She's dead. What? She's dead? Yes. Always use your hands. And that's what she's doing. Yes, come in. Good evening, Father. Evening? Oh, it's evening. Yeah. Good evening. <laughs> um, 
By the way, you have um, counseling in 30 minutes. Oh, yes, I do. I do. But you see, Jane, I want to discuss something very important with you. What is it, Father? Jane, you see, I made a lot of promises to Alicia. God rest her soul in peace. Amen. And I have fulfilled most of them. The chief of them all is yet to be fulfilled. And it's solely about you. Me? Yes, you, Jane. You see, Jane, the girl child education is a far cry from where it should be and what it should be because of the persistent vices that stand against it. And this is one of the major fights Alicia fought all her life. She believed that girls should have equal opportunity to education as well as boys. And I completely concur. In view of this, what do you think about continuing and completing your education? Well, I, I, I... There's no need to be in a hurry, okay? You can take your time. It's fine by me. Sir, I appreciate you and I, I thank you. This is what I really want. This, this is a dream come true. I want to make you proud and I want to make Le Miss Leisha proud too. I'm glad. I'm glad you took the offer. I'm very, very glad you took the offer. Thank you so much. Oh, Jane, I'm, I'm delighted. Very, very much delighted. Oh, Jane, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Mm. May her soul rest in perfect peace. Yeah. Amen. Oh, of course, the road had a um, series of bombs, but um, challenges with different sizes and shades. But others were rough and tough. Some were candid. Some came with, you know, romantic fights. <laughs> Uh. Excuse me. Sorry, sir. Hold on. Sorry. Sorry. Uh, I just. This is for you. I. I know you, right? Um, you're very good at what you do. I saw you talking to a group of people. Oh, thank you. <laughs> thank you. I, um, it's just a seminar I'll be holding. Uh, okay, I'm, I'm Benson. Benson Law. <laughs> nice to meet you. So about my seminar, yeah? Yeah, I know. Um, the Deep Cut Seminar. It's happening next week Friday, right? If you fly already, <sighs> I'll tell you about it. No, none of the above. <laughs> how, how did you get to know about it? All right, let's just say I have a way of knowing things around here, especially things I'm interested in. <laughs> oh, nice. Mm. Nice. <laughs> so, yeah, about my seminar, yeah? Yeah, it's... I'll, I'll be there. Yeah. Okay. And I know um, a few other things. Okay. Like, you're oh, the woman of my dream. Oh, okay. Oh, yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Thank you. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yeah, so I was going to say you, you didn't let me. I'm so sorry. It's okay. It's okay. Yeah. So, um, I think you're the woman of my dreams. <laughs> um, you'll be coming for my seminar, yeah? Yeah, sure. So, I'll see you yeah. on Friday. Yeah. And so we had dinner severally, and one day he proposed. And I said, yes. But trust me, it wasn't a smooth sailing experience at all, all the way, it wasn't. 
um, the road was really rough and tough and and marriage brought different challenges challenges enough to make your heart full heartless or maybe both don't ever do that again. that's that's not Never. Okay. Listen, no no listen, don't. I, I know you don't love me the same that's the that's yeah, it yeah, listen don't ever dare question my love for you. I married you, didn't I? But the love goes beyond just marriage, and you know that. Yes, I know. Amongst other things, right? Meaning? Meaning I know you can have a child. I know you are bitter as a result of your past. I know you have a problem deriving pleasure from sex. Apparently. Do you know what even gets to me? The later part. I mean, how can I be having sex with my wife and it's as though nothing is happening? How? You know what even gets to me? The fact that when I touch you sometimes, you even cringe! So you make it sound like I do other things deliberately. It's not fair. Oh, oh, really? You don't? I don't. You don't? Please, spare me all the details. Missy, if there's anything in life I want to do, it's to please him better. You know that. I don't know. I don't know! Missy. What is it? What is it? You know, I've been through hell as a child. You know that. Jen, you are a woman! You no longer have a child, you're a woman! Married to a man! Alright, and I need a wife's love and companionship! This is for Excuse that. Excuse me, bro, please! You guys should get out! <laughs> Jen, it's okay. It's okay, don't worry. I, I will talk to him, okay? I will talk to him. It's okay, stop crying. It's okay. Don't worry, I'll talk to him. Son, you are wonderful. I am so proud and happy of your actions this morning. I know. Sorry to say this, but this is exactly the kind of actions that woman needs at this point in time. Don't you think I, I was a little bit too harsh, like I, I went too far? Not at all. Not at all, son. On the contrary, you were even too gentle. I'd expected you to be much more brutal. Mommy. Yes. I mean, it's high time that woman gets to know who the man of the house is. She either breaks up or she rests out. Son, you are wonderful. I am so proud and happy of your actions this morning. I know. Sorry to say this, but this is exactly the kind of actions that woman needs at this point in time. Jane, as you have known by now that he made Jenny to go to the song is a deliberate attempt to disturb nature's female sexuality and female reproductive lifestyle. Yes, son. Okay. So it's going to affect maybe your sexual desire to oh. some extent. Doctor, are you saying that? Your particular case is entirely different because in say, in female 
genital mutilation okay usually we do individualize our treatment okay okay we have looked at your private part okay so we discovered that the extent of male genital mutilation that was given to you was a minimal one okay so you are still going to have normal sexual lifestyle okay, okay? when it comes to sexual satisfaction okay okay you're going to have a good sexual satisfaction with your partner okay but it's not going to affect you sexual when it comes to childbearing you're okay. going to get pregnant doctor hold on are you trying to say that i can still conceive yes you will conceive there will be no problem okay, okay. you're going to get pregnant carry your pregnancy normally okay to nine months i got that woman and deliver vaginally Okay. Like, you know, so you don't need to worry so much, okay? okay. But I will advise you, okay, because I have noticed that at times some of you women that do have that female genital mutation tend to feel that you might not really enjoy sex yes, as you so. should. Yes, doctor. Yeah, you don't need to worry, okay? You are going to have good sexual desires. The important thing I want to bear in mind is always apply yourself when you're having sex with your partner. Yes. Don't have maybe the stigma that you might not really satisfy your husband or your husband might not get satisfied. Okay. Just get that data from your mind. Okay. You don't have any problem when you come to that. So right and be productive lifestyle. Okay? I don't so. <laughs> Is there any person you want to ask? I mean um, the most important question you have answered already. Well, I can still conceive. Yes. Oh my God! Thank you, doctor. Thank you. Yes, you will. It's important yes, question. You can see you get pregnant and carry it to term and deliver vagina like normal women. So there's no problem, okay? So we are we are assuring you now that you don't have any medical problems. Medical problems, sir. I don't see any medical. When it comes to your sexual desires, you don't have any medical problems, okay? Yeah. Thank you very much. Baby. Baby. Baby, I'm... I'm really sorry about everything that happened this morning. Baby. Jane. Who are you back? Welcome. You didn't hear what I said. What did you say? I said I'm sorry about what happened this morning. I'm sorry too. It's okay. I'm sick and tired of this. Baby, what is it? Where are you going? Don't even ask me that bloody question. I'm sick and tired of your nonsensical rigidity. I'm sorry, I just have a lot on my mind. Hey, just don't give me that bullshit. You think of yourself, you don't even think of how I feel. Baby, that's not true. And you, you know it's that? not true. Huh? Okay, baby, hold, just hold on just one more time, and I promise you. Hey, 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 listen. Don't even go there, okay? Get your hands off me! Like one time I'm a little, I wanna hang out with ya 
She said she want cucumber, all I got is banana, na 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 na. I wanna sip something, wanna suck something, wanna lick something now. I love it when the fruit you go juicy, juicy. Make you pass something, you go crack something, make you wind that thing now. Wind up your body, now the fruit is a party. fruity, fruity party. I love the way you move, you move your body. I wanna have a tasty, juicy something. Give it to me, give it to me, yeah. It's a fruity, fruity party. I love the way you move, you move your body. I wanna have a tasty, juicy something. Give it to me, give it to me. Your wedding is a fruity party. Your love one gon' spread the money. Your birthday is a fruity party. Make everybody come wind your body. You go pass something, you go drink something, you go like this song now. Make everybody come move the body. I love it when the party go fruity fruity. Get juicy juicy. Wind up your body now, this fruity party. Go fruity fruity. Get juicy juicy. Girl, nothing nothing. It's a fruity, fruity party. I love the way you move, you move your body. I wanna have a tasty, juicy something. Give it to me, give it to me, yeah. It's a fruity, fruity party. I love the way you move, you move your body. I wanna have a tasty, juicy something. Give it to me, give it to me. Stupid stripper, I don't know, just calling some kind of useless pride. Like I I wanna I wanna acquire a building or something. <laughs> nah, she's she's really silly. Yeah, funny thing, yeah, that, that's it. She 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 turned me on and you know, I'm ready for the kill, but anyways, that's not why I'm calling. Um do you have anyone else? Oh, okay. Yeah, sure. Why not? Why not? Ma Maggie? Oh, okay. I just hope she's good, yeah. <laughs> All right, yeah, so I'm game. Let's do this. Thank you. I'll be waiting, okay? Yeah, thanks. Bye. You're leaving. Yes, I am. <sighs> there you go. No thanks. This is strictly business. <laughs> I guess you are happy now. You scared me. <laughs> scared? 
As a matter of fact, you should be very afraid. Mom, don't sit there. I am not your mommy in any fathomable way. I am not. I don't understand. What have I done wrong, Mom? How dare you ask me that? I, ju I just... I just want to know what I've done. Really? Well, since you insist, I will tell you. Jane, you can't have children. You are psychologically distracted. Sexually, you are a vegetable since your womanhood was cut off by your mother. Yes, am I lying? Or you think I don't know your predicaments? Is that what you think? Hmm? And now you want to drive my son crazy. Well, that would be over my dead body. Or better still, over your dead body. Rubbish. At that point, loneliness engulfed me. I was lost in a wilderness of tears. Yet I was drowned in dryness. You know, but there was still a light in me. A light that was ignited by my sister's death. A light that was fueled by pain. A light that... A light that was born by the heat of, of each and every moment. A light for survival. A light of victory. A light of triumph. And so I fought. I fought on. But mom, do you have to go out every night? <sighs> Will you shut up? If I don't go out every night, how will you go to school? I told every day to give you the best you can have. But did I say anything bad? Listen, shut the door and don't open it until you hear my voice. Do you understand? Well, that will be until morning, I guess. I hear that you're out. Mom? What? You're the best mom in the world. What are you doing with my phone? Who is this? One of your other booty calls. What booty calls? Oh no, that's my wife. Your wife? Yeah. I'm sure you must have been noticing this, right? I have, but... But what? Why her?
Do you know my wife? Answer me! What? You heard me. Do you know my wife? I do. Very, very well. How? Her name is Jane, right? How? We go way, way back. I don't understand. Let's just say we literally grew up together. Really? Yes, but... Why'd you do this? Do what? Come on. Why do you cheat on your wife like this? Don't you love your wife? I love my wife. It's it's just that I just what? It's complicated. You know what? Maybe I should just go. This this is about her genital personality, isn't it? Beg your pardon? Relax, Ben. I know your wife is circumcised. I was there. Young man, do you realize what time it is? I am talking to you. <sighs> mom, mom, please. I'm, I'm exhausted. I really don't need this right now. Trust me, I don't. Why won't you be exhausted? You left this house this morning and look at when you're coming back. I think you should just go and sleep. Anyway, I want to let you know that I've had some very serious talk with that so-called wife of yours. Yes, I did. And I told her that she is leaving this house. Where is Jane? Where else could she be? Of course, she's in the room. How can I guess? Now listen and listen, real mother. Jane is not leaving this house. Excuse me? You're the only person that's going to leave this house, mom. What? Bessie Lawrence, you're talking to your mother like that? Are, are, are you out of your mind? Are you sick in the head? Yes, I am. I'm sick of you interfering in my life. I'm a man, not a boy. I'm a married man. I'm married to a woman and I deserve my wife's love. Really? We shall see. Excuse me. Baby, baby, what was that about? Sweetheart, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm really sorry for the way I've treated you this past days. I'm sorry. No one ever deserves to be treated this way. And, uh, and, uh, it's okay. I love you, baby. I love you. And I adore you. Baby, that was amazing. Yeah, it was the, the sweetest thing ever. <laughs> Are you sure? Yeah, I am. See, I'm, I'm really proud and satisfied to have you as my wife. To be honest, that was the best sex I've ever had you in my entire life. You are making me sad. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm not about very serious. Trust me. <laughs> Do you love me? You love me, me? No, I'm not laughing at you. I feel like I've you. Are you sure? Yeah, no. Um, baby. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Baby. What? Baby. What? <laughs> okay. Um, there's someone I'd love you to meet today. Today. Yeah, today. Who? Someone I know. Ah, just calm down. It's a surprise. <laughs> <laughs> don't keep me in suspense. No, I won't. Don't worry. You'd see for yourself, okay? Yes, yeah, so, um, where were we? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
ही I told you it's a surprise, didn't I? Yeah, so. Maggie. Hello, Ben, already. Okay, so I'm guessing I'll just step aside. Oh, yes, yes, baby, you can sit. Okay. Fun. Come on. Okay. But mom, do you have to go out every night? Are you shut up? If I don't go out every night, how will you go to school? I told every day to give you the best you can have. But did I say anything bad? Listen, shut the door and don't open it until you hear my voice. Do you understand? Well, that will be until morning, I guess. I need that you're not. Mom? What? It's the best mom in the world. Actually, still, see, of course we can. Are you serious? <laughs> I'm serious. Oh my God! That Doctor Joe told me, but I didn't believe him. Are you serious? We can stay. We're not as handicapped as people think. God, the Doctor Doctor Joe told me that, but I didn't believe him. What did you mean? I can still. I can. We're women in every way that counts. So she told me how she left home and ended up in town as a commercial sex worker. Yeah. You know what female genital mutilation does? You know, sometimes it may steal your sexual stimulation and pleasure. While for others, it may boost your hormones for sex. For sexual pleasure regularly. And you know, sometimes you become exceedingly promiscuous just like Maggie. Culture is dynamic. It changes. As such, female genital mutilation would not hide under its covering any longer and disguised from what it truly is. A nightmare. A killer. An evil. It should be eradicated. And we must say to it. Thanks for the time. Appreciate it. 